Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a very quick <laughs> unboxing to do for you. Um, my wife's trying to go to sleep, and I'm literally filming this in our bedroom. So, this is a box from Tinker Force, and I'll open it with the Burger Urban. I got my lefty back, number 001, from Trevor Burger, because the centering, I just couldn't get it right, but it looks like he has rectified the situation. So this is in Magna Cut at 64 HRC, actually, which is pretty cool. Not that I'll ever notice the difference between that and the uh, M390 one I have in righty, but hey, still cool. So this is a new little uh, desk organizer thing that I asked him to make, and he was really kind enough to do it. Um, so I really appreciate it and I wanted to show it up. So if you guys don't know, Tinker Force makes this tray right here. They have all different kinds, small, medium, large, and this is the extra large. You can get it in this version. This is the, uh, lefty EDC version that has this larger slot in the center here. Um, the normal version has two separated ones. So there's four, I think up top. Um, but I liked this because I could lay scales or a blade in there or all the hardware whatever i want to do and i was thinking because i ordered this i was thinking what if i got something that kind of fit in here a little bit and could hold more things because I, I really like this concept but i need two drivers i need three different kpls i need super glue and q-tips and so we kind of work together to kind of make this thing and we're gonna uh, look at it here and then i'll set it up and we can talk about it so it looks like this is some kind of base. I don't know if that's the case. We're gonna see over here rhyming. Could be using my knife for this, but I never do that. So here we go. It's in black, which I thought would look cool. So this does not, oh, that's cool. Okay, I get it, I think. I think he made it so I can use it separately or something. So it has these little, uh, feet and then it'll fit hopefully yep right in there and i i was thinking maybe we could make it wide enough to just fill the whole space but then we'd have to add like more stuff and it just didn't make sense so this made more sense to me and then i guess it fits in here yeah so i can keep it off the desk on this i don't know that seems pretty cool but this does not fit in here if that makes sense you could also kind of just put it like here. I don't know. It also just kind of makes this thing another little tray, which is pretty cool, honestly. Um, but I like the concept of putting that. Instead of having this down, you have it in a little tray. So the way we set it up, what I wanted was this. So check it out. We're going to take a driver. And then I'm going to take... The whole idea is to get this in there, basically. So let's pull this forward a little bit so you can see. So we have that driver and then I could either go stubby, which makes sense. But when I need more torque, I have something cool that I use. So what I'm going to do is take this. And the reason I need two, because you're probably wondering why do you need two drivers? T8, T6, T10, T8. It's, there's sometimes knives have two and it sucks when you're disassembling, having to switch the bits out. So that's why. And then I wanted three slots for KPL. Bang. 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 So you have heavy ultra, or sorry, heavy original ultralight, right? Then we have a spot for bits. So this is where I like to keep T8s. So I have, uh, it's a little different setup. So we have three, three, three. So I probably do it this, well, no, I don't know. We'll see. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten here. And I'm going to have to not have one of them in there. So this one is a T15. So we'll put that towards the back. We have a T15. Put that towards the back because I'm going to use it less. Flathead, use it less, right? Um, this one I haven't needed. So maybe that's the one we won't use. And then I always have my... Um, actually, I think the way... No, this will work. So then I'll do um, T6s right here, T8s right here, 
and then tens right here. Boom. So we have six, eight, ten, and then the uh, random stuff back there. I could honestly get rid of a 15 because it's not really going to be a spinning situation and then put the, the other one there. So we have that. And then check this out. This is perfectly cut to fit my super glue container. How cool is that? Boom. Now that sits in there. And then I asked for a spot for these Q-tips. So we can take these little microfiber Q-tips, whether you get them from KPL or Amazon or whatever you want. And you could put um, regular Q-tips like this. Oops. You could take uh, one side and put these in there if you wanted. But I only use these pretty much exclusively. And this is like set up for the things I use the most so that I don't have to go reaching into the uh, organizer all the time. So every time you watch a disassembly, I'm sure you hear me like, oh, and I reach over and open the drawers. And this just has all that stuff ready to go in here. And it's going to be sitting on my desk. We're going to see how many it fits. It looks like it fits a good number, which is awesome. And I asked for it to be this height so that they don't just fall out. And they fit literally perfectly. Um, James over at um, Tinker Force is an absolute animal. This is so cool. Let's get these all in there if we can. Can we fit two more? No, I'm squeezing now. There we go. All right, cool. We got one left over. Come on, baby. Just fit in there. All right, it doesn't want to fit in. I'll put that one here and use it later. <laughs> so the only thing this doesn't fit is my um, Skiff Made Blades little tool that um, I use to sort of use on spinning pivots. So it would be kind of cool if I could kind of slot two of these on the side here. It's like boom, boom. Uh, but you don't really need that. And I could technically just kind of leave it sitting here like that. Don't know if I could put it in. Would it fit like in one of these? Huh. Could sort of do that if I took these out. But I don't think it's worth doing all that. I don't use it all the time. I do use it a lot. But absolutely love this um you could also just drop it somewhere not a big deal so one thing I, I use frequently i guess doesn't fit but everything else fits perfectly i do think the um the glue could sit a little deeper it might be a case of it can't like it's just too tall um everything else you like it can't go deeper you know what i mean so it does fit it's just got a little movement there or it could be tighter, I guess, but literally perfect. Look at that. And it, we did it by height so that all the taller things are in the back, shorter things in the front. And then this is going to slot fit right under my desk. Yes, perfectly. And I can keep it there. And then when I do a disassembly, I just have to reach for it, pull it out, drop it in. Oh, sorry. Drop it in here. And then I can do the video have everything right here perfect literally um so big shout out to tinker force you can get all this type of stuff there they also sell valet stuff for your apple watch your you know charging your phone whatever and the prices are dirt cheap like this tray xl tray is like 27 bucks this thing right here is probably like five dollars these are five dollars each and they fit perfectly into these spots so if you get one of these trays you can you know, put this here, get another one for there. And they come in different variations. You can get one that holds two drivers. You can get one that has, I think, two KPLs and two drivers, et cetera, right? Um, and uh, he worked with me to make this. So I don't know if anybody else would be interested in this. And I don't know if he's selling these. Um, but if you want one, I would hit him up and see if he'll make you one. Uh, the only thing I could foresee is that some people would rather swap this out for a Loctite. So maybe he could make one that has a Loctite slot instead of a um, glue slot. Um, but I use the glue more than Loctite. Um, but yeah, if I were to make it wider for any reason, 
like if we kept working on this, which I don't know if that's going to happen, I would put one of these in and then I'd put a thing for Loctite, I think. So that way I have access to this and the times that I do use Loctite, I would um, have it available. So maybe put the Loctite in the back, maybe shift this one over one, put Loctite here and this thing here bits and then the q-tips kind of like that but this is perfect i don't need more than this um, this is going to save me from reaching into the organizer 90 percent of the time so big thank you to tinker force please go check out their website i'll link it down below i love you guys i hope you have a fantastic day and i will catch you later